Let's talk about how frequently you should call in sick to work and what level of sickness you should be feeling before you do so. I've been an employee and I've been an employer and uh, been self-employed for most of my adult life. And let's chat a little bit about calling in sick for work. This concept is a concept that most self-employed small business people uh, entrepreneurs don't understand this concept. Um, when you have your own small business and you're working in the business, not just on it, and of course all of us entrepreneurs are striving to, to have to do less of the actual stuff ourselves and have more of it done you know, by professionals that are better at it than we are to, to bring in human resources to, to get most of the stuff done better than we could. That's our goal. The truth is, most of us, 95% of us in the United States, small business owners, we end up doing a ton of work ourselves. We are manning the shop, uh, so to speak. And when we are sick, when we wake up in the morning and we feel sick, this doesn't change the need to open the doors. And if we have a small business where we're doing most of the work ourselves, you don't just not come to work because you don't feel well. You come to work anyway, and it's just a little bit more miserable, and hopefully you feel better as the day goes on. Um, but kind of regardless of how badly sick you are, I mean, I guess there's a certain point that if you have a herniated disc or something, maybe you're not going to go to work, but if you just have a cold or flu or some bug or feel lousy or your back hurts or your feet hurt or your knees hurt or something like that, it's just, you still come to work. You still go in, you still produce, you still put a smile on, you don't complain to your customers about it, you just get the job done. So that is the life of a self-employed small business person. On the other hand, if you are in the E quadrant or the employee class, uh, and I use the E quadrant, if you haven't read the books, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and uh, Cash Flow Quadrant, you'll, when you read those, you'll get the reference to the E quadrant. But if you're in the E quadrant, you're an employee, look at the size of your business that you work for. If, uh, if you're not really needed, if you work for Sam's Club and at any given time in your huge store, there are five sweepers on duty and you really only need four, but oh well, and you are sick one day uh, and that'll leave only four people to work, it's not really gonna hurt anybody, life will go on. Yeah, go ahead and call in sick if your policy allows it. On the other hand, if you work for a small business uh, or you, are, you have quite the specialty, uh, whatever it is you do, and people are counting on you, uh, step up. Come to work. Oh, I know you don't want to get anybody else sick and there's this huge concern. Well, we all need to toughen up and just because we're sick doesn't mean we don't work. So my advice is never call in sick for work. Just come in, you can you know, get a hold of the boss ahead of time and say, hey, just so you know, uh, I feel sick. I think I have a cold or flu or something. I'm, I'm planning to be there. Um, if you want to move me to an area where I'm not around people, uh, so I don't get anybody else sick, I'd be happy to change up the job, whatever it is, even if I have a, a lower job, I'd be happy to be away from folks, but I plan to be there, I told you I would be, I'll be there. I suggest having that kind of attitude, just plan to come to work, don't be sick. Now, just so you know, I called in sick to work back when I was an employee, um, and shame on me, and I did it. Uh, what I'm sharing in this video and other videos, this is not based on what the law says or what I personally did. It's based on kind of my life experience and what I've noticed uh, from being a boss and being an employee. And uh, this is just kind of what makes you very valuable and makes you a little bit better of a person if you're not calling in sick all the time. Makes you an awesome person if you never do.